Hello, this is going to be a Twin Flame Soulmates telepathic reading for um, G and K. So I'm going to keep the names hidden, but she did um, say that I could use her reading to um, share with others that it might be helpful. So I appreciate her for allowing me to share this reading um, with you guys. And not only that, if you're interested in your own reading... This may resonate, may not fully, could be partially, maybe not at all. Maybe you're just watching it, you know, to figure out if you want your own reading. If you like your own reading, I'll leave the information below. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm going to tune into the energy of the person whom she's inquiring about, higher self, and what messages that they would wish to relay to her. And whatever message spirit would also like to relate to her at this time in relation to the connection. So I feel guided to pull six cards. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. So if you're asking, this person is very attracted to you. There is also a heart connection. There is a strong connection in the higher realms, too. Okay. We have the Blossom card at the bottom of the deck. So these are the three cards. I see that there's three chakras here. So these may be the um, where the strongest connection points are with you, if that makes sense. So I feel like the sacral chakra, there's a lot of sexual activity, but it could also be the sexual attraction that you feel between you and this person. There could be a lot of passionate energy, a lot of desire for each other, I feel. Um, could have been a powerful, with your sexual in encounters with each other, it could have been a powerful, like, um, almost I'm getting, like, puzzles, but it's like a puzzle that kind of clings together. Also, like, magnet, like, magnets. So there's something about that. I feel like he wants you... Like, at the times, and I think you've told me this before, um, but you said something about, like, in certain connections, you'll feel, like, sexual energy, and it's not coming from you, it's coming from them. I feel like that's his way of showing you that he's attracted, he's still connected to you. Even at the times that you're not physically together, you're going to feel that activity down there in your sacral chakra. The heart chakra is, like, also... He's in his heart space a lot when he communicates with you because of the crown chakra right above it. So he communicates from you or communicates to you from his heart space a lot. I feel like you get a lot of messages about how he feels, whether it's how he feels about himself, about a situation he's dealing with, how he feels about others, or just you, you get in, in tune. He's communicating his feelings towards you. Okay, so a lot of crown chakra activity, so I feel like your heart space will warm up a lot when it comes to him, when you think about him or when you talk to him, um, whether it's physical communication or spiritual communication. There's also a lot of crown chakra activity, so you may get a lot of chills in your scalp when it comes to him. That's the communicational link. The shine card is like he sees you. The way that you think he sees these other women I'm getting, or maybe a specific woman or a specific type of woman, the way that you think he sees them, them is how he sees you. So I'm getting that in a positive sense because I feel like you might think that he puts these people on a pedestal or these types of women on a pedestal. Oh, they're so sexy. Oh, they're, I got to have them or they're these trophies. I feel like he sees you in that light. Okay, um, whatever credit that you're giving towards these women, he's actually giving towards you because it's like there's a little bit of not envious, but kind of feeling um, not in comparison in a negative way, kind of like you lower yourself down towards them. Okay, like could be because you are of a brown skin. You told me that the other reading that I did for someone else, it resonated with you because you do have tan skin, you are curvier, um, you have a more modest body and look. And um, these other types of women, they may be more 
um, flashy, more high fashion. They could be thinner than you. They could also be lighter skinned, whether they're of another race or not, or could, you know, could be Caucasian women, could be a certain type that you think he's attracted to and you feel like he has a certain drawnness to and pull to and a certain attraction to. I feel like that's the energy that he's investing in you. Okay, so I feel like that's what he wants you to know. With the flow card, I get that um, he's taking this connection as it goes. Like, spirit is working on him. He's more in the flow of what spirit is doing more so than you are. I feel like he's, he's actually, um, not that he's more connected to spirit, but he's more connected to his higher self and it could be for the fact that he's not as spiritually aware as you so it's easier for him to just go with the flow of how things are going in life he's not trying to control it or oppose it it's, it's kind of strange it's like when you're more spiritually aware and you know that you can manifest and um, focus on intentions and you know do certain things it's like you try to control what spirit's already doing rather than just going with it so there is an advantage to being spiritually aware and there's also a disadvantage sometimes we do try to control things in the way that we want them to but when you're not so spiritually aware it's kind of like you just go with life it just seems like this is just the way life is and this is just how things go you know there is a higher power that's in charge of me so i just live life that's kind of how he's going with things so it's not so much that he's stupid or he's being selfish it's kind of like he's not that he's under a spell but it's kind of like he he's just believes that there's a higher power up there they're doing what they do and this is my life and this is how i'm gonna live it this you know wake up eat go to work sleep mingle whatever just live life that's kind of what i'm getting um like again the crown chakra is very heavy there's a lot of um telepathic communication i feel like you you have that easy with the share the love card he does give as much as he feels he can give to you um even the brokenness i feel that he has within himself he he is a hard shell to crack i don't feel like he's the softest most vulnerable person there is i feel like there is a heart in there and it has a desire to give and it only gives as much as it, it its ability to give or what he knows how to give or share. So I feel like he does give to you in, in the best way. May not be physical gifts, may just come through emotional feelings that you get at the times where you feel light and happy and joyful. I feel like that's his energy playing with you and mingling with you, if that makes sense when you feel like optimistic and happy and playful and confident even I feel like that's his energy exchange with you okay with the blossom card I feel like you have a lot of power to revitalize the situation just through yourself but you have to be that light because right now i feel like you're dimming your light just a little bit you're not um totally not totally open three of wands and the five of wands and the death card you're waiting around and anticipating um for something to happen you're waiting on a message okay so this is message this is coming from spirit so you're waiting on a message you're waiting for it to come through um overseas it's a message that you're waiting for to come through kind of have your back turned to other things there's a lot of um i get that there's a lot of fight within you there's a lot of um discontentment there's a lot of struggle there's a lot of anger there's a lot of stress that's coming from this anticipation and waiting and it's causing you to be in that. And it goes back to your other reading that you had. You had the death card, which is the energy that was blocking you. So you're dimming your light. You're causing yourself to stay in this dark night of the soul energy when you don't necessarily have to. I feel like spirit is telling you at any time when you're ready 
to open up and start anew and begin anew and just say, you know what, I surrender, I move forth. I'm going to be optimistic about this new chapter in my life. I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to be who I came here to be or be who I want to be and shine, um, be open. I feel like this is, this is the energy with the Blossom card, but you have the ability to revitalize yourself in this situation and get out of this dark period and make something happen, transform this energy, transmute it. Because the longer you wait and the longer you focus on the fact that you don't have what you're waiting for or it hasn't come yet or it's not working, the longer it's, um, the longer, I feel like the longer um, things can actually play out for you because I feel like there's so much more that awaits you that you're not even realizing or can even see because your back is turned to it. And you're fighting with yourself in the process and spirits telling you that it's no more. There's no need for it anymore. There's so much more that awaits you. You have the star card. So I feel like there's some great stuff in alignment for you. And then here comes the fool again. This is the card that you had in the other reading. What you want is right here for you. It's on the other side of this, this energy that you're dealing with right now, this anticipation, this waiting, this fighting with yourself, this aggression, this working yourself to death, I feel, fighting yourself to death. And it's like things, there's great things in store for you. There's many things in alignment for you, not just in love, it's in all other areas like you, you have the ability to stand out and make some things happen. I don't know what, what spirit is saying with that. But with the full card, it's like you need to take some chances. You need to be playful. You need to be creative. You need to reinvent yourself. You need to reinvent your life. And you need to surrender and be open to whatever this new chapter is because you're holding yourself in a pattern of um, it's like detrimental to you. You're keeping yourself in this pattern when you don't need to. It's like you're holding on for dear life onto something and anticipating what you think is supposed to happen or how it should happen and when is it going to happen that you're not living you're you're keeping yourself in a, a death situation when everything that you could ever want is what spirit is saying there's something that you're wanting there's something that you're not even aware that you want or even see how things are going to unfold for you, you just don't know. I feel like it's not going to happen until you say, I surrender and I'm just going to enjoy my life. I'm going to be open to what spirit has for me. This is a new chapter. This is a new beginning. And I'm open and I'm ready. It's like surrender. You have not surrendered to the process. Okay. So allow spirit to give you what they're trying to give you. It's like your hands are closed. You think that it's open, but it's it's kind of clenched because it's like, until I get what I want, then I'm going to open my hands and that's not how it works. Spirit wants you to be open anyway and be open to whatever help, whatever support, whatever gift spirit has for you and be grateful for what comes because I feel like it's unexpected. It's like this, um, this picture on, um, like social media. I see it sometimes. It's a picture of uh, a little girl with a, a little teddy bear and then she's standing before Jesus and she's holding on to this little teddy bear and he was asking her to give it up and she was like but I love this or I want this and then behind his back is a bigger teddy bear and he says well I have something much better for you that always happens when we surrender and say yeah I love this little teddy bear or I love this job or yeah, I want this person or I would like to have this type of car. I would like to live in this house. But if this is not what's meant for me right now or ever, I'm open to it. I want it. Yes, if you can give it to me, I would be more than grateful. But if there's something else for me, I'm open to it. And spirit usually blesses us with it could be it blesses us with that house, that car, that person. And not in the way that we want it, but it could be something much better than what we were expecting or the unfolding of it. Or it could be totally something different that we didn't even think that we wanted or even knew existed that we really wanted and was much better than what we were ever asking for. 
a better neighborhood, that house that had that pool that we maybe didn't even think we could have, or a person that is everything that we asked for, plus much more that we didn't even know that we wanted or needed. Um, there's so much um, involved, <laughs> Holly, with this whole situation. I feel like that's what Spirit's trying to tell you with all of this. So I hope that this resonates. And for those of you who've watched it, if it does resonate or if you're interested in your own reading, I will leave the information below in the description box. I'm sending you much love, much light. Until next time, peace.